So I'm here in the Student Union, home of many retail dining establishments, but no dining halls. Recently, as of last year, the dining meal plan has increased notably. However, many people have believed that the services have gone down. With an unlimited meal plan, you get $250 dining dollars each semester, and the dining dollars roll over into the next semester. And then for commuter students, you have the YCMP option, where you either get a $10 worth swipe or a swipe. And by the way, this cup of coffee I got cost $4.75. So here we have Harvest. It's where you can find all your healthy options, such as coffee, and it's the buffet style. Over here is called People's Organic. It's like a little coffee shop. You have foods, you have sandwiches, you have cups of coffee like this one for $4.75. Here we have Blue Wall, which is um, basically like a miniature dining hall. However, it's not using swipes, and you have to use dining dollars or cash or your card. So, Rob, how many uh, dining dollars do you have left? Do you know? Um, uh, like 150, I think. Uh, 14 currently. Very nice. I have only about 50 left. Nice. All right. <laughs> what do you think of the whole uh, dining situation here, with the whole meal plan going up in cost? Um, it's okay. I mean. I guess they can kind of justify it because they can throw the whole like number one dining thing around. Like, I think that UMass has had a lot of problems with like the way the food's cooked. Like I see food that sometimes like I go to the dining hall and I get food and it's undercooked and I'm, and I'm like what happened? How I'm paying all this money and I have all this investment going in so what am I doing? I know that a lot of the dining employees have turned into full-time employees um, so I think that has something to do with it. But other than that, I see them cutting service and still increasing prices. But at the same time, it's kind of you got to feel like there's no, if there's no reason to hike it up, don't hike it up. Like if you're not changing anything you're actually doing, there's no reason for the price to go up necessarily. From talking to a couple of the dining staff employees, it sounds like the, they're not exactly treated super well. I mean, for the most part, since I'm off campus, we go to Hamp and Burke. And uh, people say, you know, those are the best dining halls. But honestly, I think the quality has gone down a little bit. Uh, so I don't, I don't see why it's the best food in the country, but that's just my take on it. Um, and I also, I think a lot of this might be hearsay, but I did hear that a lot of them are employed under the condition that they're only part-time, and so they don't receive a lot of health benefits in terms of like insurance and things like that, which I think isn't necessarily fair compared to what we pay for a meal plan and sort of the way UMass advertises the meal plan and their own... Um, for their own profit, I guess. Am I just wasting my money here? Like, we have number one dining. You gotta reciprocate it. You gotta show me that, like, we're actually, it's actually worth this money. Um, honestly, uh, rumor has it that, you know, we're the best food in the country, but uh, honestly, in my opinion, I think that the quality has gone down in the dining halls a little bit. What do you think about the prices at uh, these retail establishments like Blue Wall? Um, definitely pricey. I mean, I think they do that for a reason. Um, you know, I have the YCMP off-campus meal plan, so, you know, each swipe is $10, and, you know, everything in here is just about $10, and, you know, for people that don't even have meal plans, they have to come in here and spend money on a sandwich, you know, over there, the deli, for $10, when they could go off-campus and get something for 5 or $6 or something like that, so definitely, uh, definitely very pricey here. They're very expensive, honestly, like last year. I didn't go through all my dining dollars in the first semester. I got through about half of it, but like, it's so expensive. Like, paying for chicken, $9, seriously, for like a couple of strips, that's ridiculous. I think they need to lower prices. There's no way, we need, or we need more dining dollars. That's also the case. Um, yeah, um, I mean, I don't know how the system really works. Sometimes like, when I'm at the register, I'll ask, what can I do to make this $10? Mm -hmm. And then sometimes I'm just like, well, it's $7.50, I'll just use my YCMP. And then you end up losing money there. So, I mean, the system's definitely made so they can make the biggest bang for their buck, but uh, I think we get screwed a little bit. How do you feel about them uh, removing late night for a little bit in the beginning of the year? I was not a fan. Um, I know that a lot of people really like late night, myself included, especially because I study at night, I work during the day, I go to school during the day that's when I have time to hang out with my friends and that's a great place to go. Last year having late night was a great time, like it gave you a chance to like relax and just like eat I guess. UMass needs to bring back, bring back number one dining because right now this isn't number one dining.